a dollar sixty and a dollar four. Here's Dr. Dutz coming into the outside gate. Winner championship final. They're right to go. All set, they're off and racing. And Doubtful Jack, one of the first to show. Outlandish lad, trust us, jungle ruler, and defend again well. And as they settle down, Tiaka Nui settling about the middle of the field. Here's a Silky Smooth coming over. Jungle Ruler running to the lead ahead of Offenders and Silky Smooth on the move out wider. Outlandish Lad settling fourth and then came Doubtful Jack a length away fifth. Sap next to the outside from Reverend Lovejoy. Trust us, Tiaka Nui. Dr. Dutes out deeper. The back is Pinnacles, Marsh Young, O'Reilly's Clock and then Command Prince and Reisman back last of all. Silky Smooth running to the lead a length clear from Sap coming down the side a thousand metres to go. Outlandish Ladders third and Jungle Ruler fourth. A length away is Reverend Lovejoy. Followed closely then by Dr. Dutes on the move around Doubtful Jack and then Pinnacles. Followed by Offenders. Worse in midfield the rail trail by Kanui and then came Marsh Young making a move around the outside. Back behind them Command Prince taking off. Rice Man pulling out wide and then O'Reilly's clock and Trust Us back towards the tail. Savcor raced up to Silky Smooth coming around the home turn and then Reverend Lovejoy outlandish lad. Dr. Dudes out wider. Doubtful Jack is staying closer to the inside. He saves a lot of it's through and he's hit the front now. So Doubtful Jack shot to the lead early in the straight from Dr. Dutz and Pinnacles running on out wider. Then Tiaka Nui is threading his way through and Rice Man right down the outside but Doubtful Jack raced away from them. 200 to go. He's opened up three to four lengths now from Pinnacles and Rice Man coming down the outside but it is all Doubtful Jack. He's romping away the three and he's going to be eased up to win it brilliantly. Doubtful Jack won it by five or six lengths to Pinnacles. Rice Man third, offenders four, just in front of O'Reilly's clock, then Tiaka Nui, followed Ma Shung Sav Kaur, Command Prince coming in at long intervals, the rear markers here behind them is Trust Us and then Dr. Dutes, Reverend Lovejoy, outlandish lad Silky Smooth and Jungle Ru Embarrassing, how easy was that? Made them look absolutely second rate, they're not but he might be better than we all thought uh, when he wins, he wins by gaps his four wins this preparation have been by 3.8 4.3, 5.5, and that's his biggest one today. He's won by close to six. Pinnacles is no slouch. <laughs> He's running good small. He's just absolutely flying, but he could only get about eight lengths from the winner. Two, uh, Nolan two. popped him off for Sammy, didn't he? About 800 from home, one off the fence. I think, how's he going to get through here? Well, straight <laughs> up. It was like Macaulay Diva in the Melbourne Cup. Absolutely trotted in. They just all opened up for him, and by the Luke had gone from probably three or four lengths off them to then being, you know, hitting the front. And he had he, too soon. Yeah, he, he had to you know, ask for the horse. And then when he did ask for him, well, then the horse just picked up and quickened. You right. know, I mean, he's, he's a really good horse. Yeah, you don't see many horses putting wins together like this in the winter. Now, I hope the uh, TVN viewers jumped into the hour of power on IAS bet and got the even money. Because if you did, you'd never had a worry when they were betting 100%. Two dollars. He started a dollar sixty. He was the best back runner by far. Our sport market mover. He was the linchpin of quaddies, and he has absolutely bolted in. The numbers are five, one, seventeen, and twelve after the running of the main event today, and that was some win. Peter Moody with Bruce. Well, Pete, um, I'm not sure what your assessment is of him before today and after today, but he's made a good field look pretty second rate. Oh uh, well, you know, I think he's booked himself a spring.